All right, guys, we got the plow wiring for the truck. If you've seen, check out the other video. We did the plow mounts. Here's the Western isolation mod. All the wires laid out. Basically, this is going into the driver's side headlight. That's going into the passenger headlight. Same with that wire. That's going into the cab. And that's going to the actual plow itself. Which is right there. So, let's get this uh, in the truck. Alright, so I took off the cover right here. You got the fuse box here. Got the uh, firewall, which we're going to run the wires through for the joystick box. I do not have the second battery here, so I'm probably going to put the uh, isolation mod here. Um, or maybe mount it up here. I'm not sure yet, but we will cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, for now, we're going to pull out the headlights on both sides. All right. So we got the box just sitting in here. Ran the wires down underneath. Here's the driver's side headlight. So these wires are labeled. Uh, where we got here? Right here, you can see a high beam. So this goes into the high beam. So it's one into the plug. This is the factory wire. And then it goes out into the bulb itself. So this is the high beam side. This is the low beam side. And then we have uh the parking lights and the turn signals so that's these right here so we got the turn signal bulbs we're going to t-tap into the power onto here and then for the um for the parking lights and for the turn signals so we got power bulb for here and then parking lights will tap off of as well that's that for this side here's the uh, factory harness for the truck so that's going to plug right back into the factory harness and um yeah so the driver's side is pretty much done just got to tap these two wires and move on to the passenger side all right guys so now we're on the passenger side already ran the wire through here right underneath and uh yeah so we got the turn signal on this side right into here uh, put just a butt connector on there and taped it up and same thing low beam in low beam out and High beam in high beam out And that's it. It's a factory connector put everything back together and you're done on the passenger side All right guys, so we got the power wire hooked up we got the ground Put down there ran the two wires through here we got the last plug connection right here Ran all the wires through the bottom of the grill up to the isolation box or module over there. I'll show you guys on this side. Got the two plugs sticking out. We're going to fold these in here and get caps for them to store. And then we ran the wire for the module for the control box through here. And that's going out through the floor of the truck right through here. So that's coming up from behind here. We're going to zip tie this all up. This is where the joystick box goes into. And then you need power for the remote. And that's going to tap into this fuse panel on this side of the truck. So pop that out. Get the fuse panel in there. Take power from there. And... That's basically it. That's going to wrap up this install. So, if you guys have any questions, I know I didn't go too much into what we were actually doing here, but just wanted to show you the basic hookup for the for the module. That's the quick version of it. Let's see everything's back together. And again, we're just going to zip tie all these wires together and up. You can see there's some water sitting in there. You don't want to leave any of the wiring sitting in the water. But other than that, that's all we got for you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Take care.